South Korea, an amazing land with a rich history steeped in cultural traditions and delicious food. For the next few weeks, First Look, along with world-renowned chef Angelo Sosa, will explore the sights, the smells, and of course, the tastes of South Korea. We're here in Ansong, South Korea at the stunning Sa Il Farm where things are about to get saucy. The savory Korean condiments known as jang are made from fermented soybean. Salty and sweet, sometimes spicy and always delicious, these aromatic sauces and pastes compose the essential flavors in Korean cuisine. This bar here is actually uh, to ward off spirits and they don't let many people behind it so we're very excited. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I have never seen anything like this. That's amazing. They haven't opened this in like 10 years. And the consistency is really incredible because the top layer is so like firm, like a fudge, and then the middle is so moist. Uh -huh. Look at this. I mean, it just keeps going. So how many different types of jang are there? Denjang, gochujang, samjang, changgokjang, hanjang. Five. <laughs> so we're gonna go see Kanja now. All right, let's go. That is the most amazing soy sauce I've ever had. These are all newer. 2010. Could I lick this? Was she getting mad? <laughs> Still another bite. <laughs> and all this was put in here like eight years ago. One of the first ones I get to see it. It's amazing when she peels open that first layer, how the smell just hits you. It's sort of attacking every one of your senses. You have the sight of the pots, you have the taste of these amazing ingredients. It's really like a science. So basically, you need sun and wind in order for it to ferment. It's just incredible. Oh, this really, it's just amazing. And I'm definitely going to think twice next time I dive into a signature Korean dish. So, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Prepare your taste buds as First Look travels to Korea for bulgogi. It smells really good too. Makuli and plenty of kimchi. Tune in next week as the adventure continues. <laughs>